Hello folks and welcome to video number 52. This one is on forming and solving equations. Uh, the keywords I've got for you here are form, uh, which means you're going to write something in some way uh, mathematically. Equations are things that you are able to solve and the word solve means finding the value of the letter. We have gone through a number of different solving equations, steps and videos already. Uh, if you haven't seen those, please do go back and watch them before this one. This is quite a tricky one, this topic. So read the words of the question really carefully that you're given. Um, if it's a geometry problem, then draw a diagram. And if you don't, if that's if you don't get given one in the problem, in the question itself, uh, pick out the information you need to form the expressions. Again, I've got a video on forming expressions um, uh, or and formulate. If you haven't watched that, please do. Simplify by collecting like terms and turn into an equation. Solve the equation and you may need to use your value to work something else out afterwards as well. So there's loads of things to think about here and, go, and, and loads of things going on. But um, we can start off relatively simple and it's kind of logical, it makes sense. Now in number 1a, I think of a number, I'm thinking of a number, I'm multiplying that number by 3 and then I'm, and then I'm adding 7. All right. The result is 25. So you've got to figure out what the number is. Now I've got a little bit of working out space down here. I've got another question under here which I'll reveal in a bit. I uh, will pause the video and by magic um, another question will be revealed. Um, but uh, yes, here we go. This is what we would need to do in this particular question. I'm thinking of a, num a number. It is unknown to you. So what you would do is write down X or Y or Z or N or whatever you want to write down. We write N for number. So I'm thinking of that number. Okay, it's got to be multiplied by 3. And the way we do that is we put 3 in front of the N. Again, multiplying terms video I've, I've made for you, so please watch that one if you're not sure what I'm talking about there. So 3n and then add 7, so plus 7, we have formed an expression. The result is 25, so it equals 25. We have now formed an equation. We can now solve that equation. So we take away 7 from both sides, and that leaves us with, um, if I take away 7, 18, and 3n is equal to that, and then n would be equal to 6, because I would divide both sides by 3. Okay, and there's solving equations videos for you to watch. I'm not going to go through that in great detail here. So the answer to that question is n equals 6. I will pause the video now, and I will return with the question that is next in this box. And by the magic of television, I appeared over there. What a wonderful thing. So in B, we've got a triangle that has angles of x, x plus 10, and 2x minus 14 degrees. We've got to find the value of each angle and state the type of triangle that it is. Now, this is the one where we haven't got a picture in the problem, but it might be nice to draw ourselves a little picture. All right, so we know it's a triangle, so I'm going to draw a little triangle. Okay, and I've got an angle of X. It doesn't have to be anywhere near to scale or any anything. I've got an angle of X. Uh, I'll just put an arrow to that one because I can't fit it in there. X plus 10. And I've got another angle of 2X. That one there could be 2x minus 14, okay, uh, degrees. Now we've got to find the angle at each. Um, and so what we do need to know is what the angles add up to in a triangle. So it's a geometry thing. Uh, we will be videos on this later on down the line. But I think most people are pretty confident that they remember that there are 180 degrees inside a triangle. So this shouldn't be too much of an issue. We've got x, we've got another x, and we've got 2x. So we're going to form the expression that would be for the... Um, some of the interior angles on a triangle x x and 2x is going to be four x's okay we've got 10 minus 14 so that would be minus 4 and that would equal the sum of the angles which is 180 so this bit's our expression we formed that we've now formed an equation because we know what the sum of the angles is in a triangle we then solve it so we're going to add 4 to both sides it's going to be 184 4x is 184 and then we'll divide both sides by 4 to get what x is okay and then we need to give all three angles so if we're popping it into here we're going to go in four times with two left over and then six times into 24 just did the bus stop method in my head there so x is equal to 46 so I've got 46 degrees um, I've got x plus 10 so 46 plus 10 is 56 degrees then I've got 46 times 2 and then take away 14. So 46 times 2 is 80 uh, and then 12, so 92. And then 92 take away 14, so you take away the uh, 12 gets you to 80, so that's going to be 78 degrees. Uh, so again, just a little bit of mental arithmetic there to get those. 
Um, and you don't have to do that. You could write out your workings. Bust, um, could do the bus stop method up here, could do the um, column method of addition or subtraction if you need to. Again, there are videos on those things, so, but if you're watching this video, you're probably at a stage where you're pretty decent at maths. Um, and yeah, there we go. Uh, we have to all we have to do is state what type of triangle this is. So all three angles are different, so therefore we'll say it is a scalene triangle. Again, that will be uh, explained in further detail when we do the geometry videos, but all three angles are, are different, therefore this is a scalene triangle. Now, up into question two, we've got Vinny, and Vinny's got V pounds. Winnie has got four pounds more than Vinny, and Xander, it's the only name I can think of with an X in it, has two times more than Winnie. Together, they have 250 pounds. That should have a little pound symbol in there. Um, how much does each person have? So again, this is a forming and solving equations question, obviously, because that's the video that we are watching, or you are watching and I am making. Um, it starts with uh, the person that's got the kind of the standard V amount or X amount or just unknown amount at the beginning here, just like that, finding the number one did in the first question there. So Vinny's got V pounds. So I'm going to write down Vinny equals V, just the letter V, and ignoring the pounds because every, every all of the units are exactly the same. Now, Winnie has got four pound more. So Winnie has, oh, I-E, spelling Winnie wrong. Winnie has got V pounds, but four more. So V plus four pounds. And then Xander has got two times more than what Winnie's got. So two lots of this, two of those, two V plus fours. All right, so that's going to be two V plus four. All right, we're popping that V plus four in some brackets and we're, then we're going to multiply it out to find out the expression for Xander. So that would be two V. And again, there's a multiplying out brackets video for you to watch if you need to. And then plus eight. So I've got two V plus eight, I've got V plus four and I've got V pounds. All right, and all of those expressions add up to this 250 pounds. So I've got one, two, three, four Vs. So four V again. Okay, and then plus four and eight together, add four and eight together and you've got 12 and that equals the 250 pounds that um, these three people have got. So if we take away 12 from both sides, um, then we divide them by four, we're going to find out what Vinny's got, V pounds. Okay, and we've got to work out how much each person has in this particular question. So uh, let's take the 12 pound away, and that gives us 238 pounds, and that's 4V. And then we're going to go into 25 times, aren't we? So we're going to start with a five with three left over. And that's going to be uh, 38. And we can go in 36 times. So that's going to be nine. And then there'll be two left over out of four. So that's a half. So it must be £59.50. So v, Vinny has got £59.50. There we go. Um, if Winnie's got £4 more, then Winnie is equal to... Um, Four, four more pounds than this, so £63.50. And then uh, we're going to need to double uh, that and then add £8 pounds on to get what Xander's got. So Xander has got £120, £126, £127, pounds, £127 pounds plus the £8. Pounds. I've forgotten that, haven't I? Have I? So V, oh no, sorry. I'm, what am I doing? I'm doubling V. I'm doubling V. Um, so, what can I do with that? Yeah, I think I can do that. So, that is £127, isn't it? So, if I doubled the £59.50, that's a quid. And then £9 doubled is 18 so That's £19. So, £119 plus £8 is £127. So, yeah, got it right. There you go. So, there's the three um, uh, quantities of money that each person has. And that was a bit of a pain, wasn't it? But uh, they are easy to start. And, and I mean, it doesn't normally end up being like this. Unless you've got a calculator, then you could use calculator to work those last bits out nice and simple. Um, anyway, I'm going to move myself over to the other side of the screen so we can see the third question or the first of the third questions. Uh, there is, again, another one underneath this box, which I'll do some sort of magic with in a bit. Now, the rectangular floor of a wrestling ring is three meters longer than it is wide. The perimeter of the floor is 56 meters. Find the length and the width. So, again, we've got a, a geometry style problem here. We've got a perimeter. A perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. Um, and let's just draw that there. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, if we've got a, a width of x, and we've got a length of x plus 
three meters. So the rectangular floor is three meters longer than it is wide. So the width is X. We didn't know what that was, uh, but the length is three meters more than that thing that we didn't know or don't know, but we're going to find out. Uh, so if that's X and that's X and because it's rectangular, okay, then that's X plus three as well. So we've got four X's there. Keep doing questions with four X's or four unknowns, um, not on purpose. And then you've got uh, plus six and that equals 56. So what you're going to do is you're going to take away six from both sides. That leaves you with 50. 4x equals 50. And then half it's 25 and half it again to 12.5. So x equals 12.5. And uh, find the length and the width. So the uh, width, let's just pop this up here. Width is equal to 12.5. And then the length is going to be three more meters than that. So 15.5. Okay, just going to pause this again. And I will turn or the third box into the second question. Because I want to show you a few of these examples. And again, as if by magic, it's turned into another question. So B, the area of the square is the same as the area of the triangle. Find the base length for the triangle. Now, I think this one's just a little bit harder than all of the others. Um, the area of the square is the same as the area of the triangle. Now, you need to know how to work out the area of the square, first of all, which is pretty simple. You need to know how to work out the area of the triangle. Second of all, which is also pretty simple if you've got numbers, but then it's more complicated when you've got expressions and, and equations to then solve. So um, the first thing that we could do is look at the square and go, well, that's 12 centimeters there. So that length or that other length there will be 12 centimeters because it is a square and that should be relatively obvious. So the area of the square, I'm just going to put area of the square is equal to 144 uh, centimeters squared. We don't really have to worry about the units because everything is in centimeters. Anyway, I'll just write them there for the sake of it. Now, um, we can work out the area of a triangle over a little little t is equal to um, half the base multiplied by the height. OK, so um, we what I would probably suggest you do when you're forming equations is thinking of multiplying the two numbers together and then putting it all over two. OK, so we've got this number, which is 3b plus 8, and we've got this number, which is 12. Now I'm going to put 12 in front of 3b plus 8 like this. And then I'm going to put it over 2 because that is the height multiplied by the base or and then divided by 2. OK, this is a number. Remember, OK, it's just an expression for a number. All right. Um, and what we do know is that the area of both of them is the same. So what actually we will be able to do with this expression for the area of the triangle um, is put it equal to the area of the square. OK, so we will be able to form an equation here. So we've got 12 and it looks complicated but it's not too bad. 12 multiplied by 3b plus 8 over 2 equal to 144. Okay, now if I solve this, I'm going to get 288 on this side because I'm multiplying both sides by 2. And I'm going to, at the same time, I'm going to multiply this out. So I've got 36b plus 96. Okay, so I've got 36b plus 96. I'm going to take away the 96 from both sides. All right. Now, again, I don't really fancy doing this um, without a calculator. And I'm not going to do this without a calculator because you probably wouldn't get this on the non-calculator paper. So I'm just going to pause this and get the calculator up for a second. Another bit of magic there for you. So we're going to take the 288 and we're going to take away the 96. And that gives us 192. So that's 36B is equal to... 192 and then we're going to divide that 192 by 36 and that will equal 16 over 3 so let's just say that b is equal to 16 over 3 again if we want to put that in a little bit more of uh, understand it a little bit more we, we know we could work it out as a mixed number so 3 goes into 16 uh, 5 times as 5, uh, 5 and uh, 1 third because there's one left over so it's five and a third of a centimetre or a metre, a centimetre. Yeah, this one's in centimetres. So five and one third of a centimetre. Uh, we've got three of those and then add bit add eight in order to get the base of the triangle. So the final bit of our work in is to take that 16 thirds and take that three that's in front of that value of B, multiply it by three. And it doesn't matter what order we do those two in, and then we add the eight. OK, so that's what I'm going to do on the calculator. I'm going to multiply it by three. And then I'm going to add 8 to it. And that equals 24. So the base equals 24 
centimeters okay and that does make sense okay now this is a really complicated way of doing this question a lot of people probably now they know that this answer is 24 we go well all we've got to do is half the base times it by the height and that's just if i half that all right well 12 times 12 that's 144 so what can i multiply yeah that would have to be 24 so therefore you could work out from that 3b plus 8 equals 24 um you could work out what b is couldn't you all right that would be an easier way to do it but i like this way of doing it because it, it kind of involves more maths and understanding more maths which is never a bad thing all right so uh, i hope you enjoyed that one that was a long old video wasn't it loads of questions in there but this is a real tough topic lots of really tricky questions that you could be asked i mean if you're answering this last one here you're on for a grade five i would say um, if that's the sort of understanding you've got in maths. So uh, please do like, subscribe and um, click the link in the description to keep practicing and I will see you in the next video.